Hi, oh, yeah, I'm up on the allotment and just about to go home. I've been up here today with um, Graham and Nancy. Um, I've, we've done a few things between us that I just wanted to show, to show off, you know. <laughs> um, and something else which I'm delighted with, where well, I'm going to turn you around now. Look at this beauty, my first ever obelisk. I feel like a proper grown up now. <laughs> So yeah, that's gone in. That was an absolute bargain at the garden centre. It was a tenner because, can you see that? The paint there has cracked and it's gone a little bit rusty. But you know, over time that sort of thing would happen anyway, so it didn't bother me. So yeah, a lovely looking obelisk for a tenner. And I've put my sweet peas around the bottom. So hopefully they'll start climbing up. And I just mulched around the bottom with them. Um, some strolt um, and it's in the in the like spare patch of ground that I've got where the uh, potatoes are so there's my potato rows all along there and that's the spare bit but I think along sort of this line here I think I'm gonna put my ochre in there sometime in the week so yeah I think that'll be pretty pretty good in that bit but um, I'll probably add a bit of compost or something in there because this ground's not been touched or fertilised for such a long time. Yeah, moving on down by the shed, this was my horrendous <laughs> excuse for a flower bed. Um, it was really overgrown and it had loads of nettles in it and raspberry canes that just keep on coming back all the time and I don't want them in there. So I may use this bed because it's really nice and deep so I may use this bed and keep it for root vegetables in the future but uh, not the moment we've covered it up got Graham got most of most of the stuff out um, and we've covered it up I'm probably just gonna leave it for a month or two and yeah later on I'll probably put carrots or something in there and then the very last of the potatoes have gone in. I've got these three buckets here. So these are the last of the Aula potatoes. So I'll just put them in buckets and I'll, I'll mulch the tops at a later date. Field beans here are looking absolutely amazing. I'm just loving the flowers, the detail on those flowers. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, at the moment, I'm very much preferring field beans to broad beans. But yeah, don't tell the broad beans, will you? Shh. Show you these as well. So I left a little long grassy patch there and I've got these lovely little daffodils coming out. These are the ones um, I planted in October last year and they're called Pheasant's Eye, I think. That's what they were. They're just gorgeous too. Right, I'll take you over this side. There's my lettuce. That I didn't get in today. It's just a mixture of all different lettuces that I potted up, but they'll go in some other time in the week. And then Graham and I have been weeding this big bed here for the peas to go in. So um, I kicked the peas out ages ago, um, maybe two weeks ago from my greenhouse because there just wasn't any room. So they've been in the garden fending for themselves in their trays and the slugs have been going crackers at them. Look, you know, they're all, they're all spindly, but um, I just thought we'll just, we'll stick them in the ground anyway and hope for the best. So they're in there, that is a mixture. They're a bit muddled up because um, Nancy helped which is which is always nice. It's nice to encourage the little ones to help out, but um, that does mean that we've now got a mix in there of rosacrone and meteor, and uh, we'll find out which is which when they start flowering. And then I've just got in here at the very end a little borage plant. So I've got nine more of those at home that I will gradually scatter around. So yeah, that's it for now. Um, just done those few jobs, took flipping ages. Um, the cooch grass is just unbelievable. <laughs> really hard work to get rid of it. But yeah, that's it. That's 
us for the day. We're going home. The weather's rolling in. It looks like it's going to tip it down at some point soon. So, yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you in another video soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.